Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. There are many new technologies are developing in the construction industry. Precast concrete is one of the growing technology in the construction industry as the demand for that is getting increased day by day. In order to meet this demand, builders and developers are looking for adopting the precast into construction and achieve speed and quality. In olden days, precast technology was limited to infrastructure projects like metro, bridges and so on. At present, this new technology technology is adapted for housing projects, commercial projects in addition to infrastructure projects. The application of this precast concrete construction was started by Romans. Later in the 20th century, British engineers developed an improvised version of construction in terms of precast concrete structures. So friends, in this video, let's discuss in detail about this precast concrete technology. With that being said, let's begin. First, let's discuss about what is precast technology. As we all know that in conventional method of construction, we construct column, beam, slab, wall panels, everything on site. Whereas in precast system, all the structural elements like column, beam, slab, wall panels are casted in the manufacturing unit. That is what the name itself, it is a precast unit. So all the elements are casted in the manufacturing unit according to the requirement, according to the specification, whatever we have. And then it has to be transported to the site and then assembled at the site. As you can see here, this is how the panels looks like. We need the panel erection equipments and the panels has to be transported from the manufacturing unit to the respective site. This is the major difference between conventional method of construction and precast concrete construction. In conventional method, we construct all the structural elements in site, whereas in precast method of construction, all the elements are casted, precasted in the manufacturing unit and then it has to be transported to the site for the assembly. Why do we need this precast technology? As the demand for the construction is getting increased, we need to complete the projects on time without any delay. And in order to meet that demand, we need to provide this kind of new technology. We need to adopt this kind of new technologies, which saves a lot of time. And then speed of construction has been increased by using this method of construction because we don't need to wait for the labor to come to the site and prepare all the necessary things and then to make the work done at site. In precast technology, these are all well planned and all the elements are casted in the manufacturing unit and only we need to transport that to the site and then get it assembled. This avoids the labor shortage and time delay. The speed of construction and quality of construction is more. This technology helps in saving up to 60% of the time when compared to the conventional method of construction. For example, if we construct a conventional brick mortar method, it takes one year to complete a G plus one project. Whereas the precast method takes only four months to complete the project. Let's look into the precast concrete element. First one is slab, precast slab. Precast slab is divided into two parts. One is hollow slab and one another one is solid slab. The hollow portion of the slab is provided in the zones of zero stresses which reduces the overall dead weight of the structure and provide better insulation. Whereas the solid slab uses the method of tiling bed with longitudinal reinforcement. These slabs are required in the common areas like to toilet, utility and balconies to serve various MEP services. Look into the pictures, the solid slab with few openings to meet the requirements of an MEP services. Next one is precast columns and beams. As I told you before, these slabs, columns and beams are casted in the manufacturing unit and then it has to be transported to the the site for the assembly. So here let's look into the beams and column, precast beams and columns. For simple beam and column connection, precast columns are provided with carbon. The beam systems are categorized as per the position in the structural system. So how we frame the structure according to that uh, position of the beam, the beam systems are categorized. When the floor loading is symmetrical, 
the internal beams are used and when the floor loading is non symmetrical external beams are used in this way beam and columns are precasted in the manufacturing unit according to the structural system next precast wall panels precast wall panels provide very good finishing when compared to the brick and mortar construction by using this precast wall panels we can eliminate the plastering work on touch ups so apart from this smooth finishing these wall panels provide more lateral stability to the structure whenever an earthquake or wind load is acting on the structure it provide more lateral stability to the structure when compared to the conventional wall system next one is precast staircase when this kind of staircase is used shuttering and reinforcement are not needed on site as we have discussed before there is no work is done at site these all slabs are casted stair slabs are casted precasted on the manufacturing unit and we need to only assemble this unit at site which provides the high quality finish it can be casted as a single unit or individual unit of light and then landing separately so however we want according to that we can uh, precast in the manufacturing unit according to the specifications of the staircase next let's look into the connection details for precast construction as we all know that in conventional system we construct all the elements at site so that the load transfer will be proper like uh, the load will be transferred to the proper structural element and finally transfer to the ground but in precast system we need to provide proper connections in order to transfer the load not only transfer the load for providing the continuity and monolithic behavior to the entire structure we need to provide connections to the structural elements these connections can be classified as horizontal and vertical joints and the design of these connections are based on the durability economy and standardization so this is the connection details for beam and column if you look into here we'll be having three stressed tendons welding plate cast into beam so this is the connection between beam and column bearing pads on concrete so these kind of connection details we need to provide for the precast construction here is the connection details for the hollow slab to beam since it is precasted reinforcing bar type these are grouted into keys between slab elements so in this way we need to connect slab and beam bearing pads are also provided next let's look into the assembling and erection of precast elements precast construction includes various structural components which are standardized and manufactured in plants or yards in a location and transported to the site location for its assembly so this is how the precast concrete elements are manufactured and assembled at site so how first we need to provide the precast element layout and then that has to be produced in manufacturing unit and it has to be stacked and then transportation after that erection of components this is the overall process of precast concrete technology next let's look into the advantages of precast technology as we have discussed before it saves more time since all the precast elements are casted in the manufacturing unit it saves more time and we get better quality and finishing it can be done in all weather conditions in conventional method if the weather condition is not good like in the rainy season and all we cannot do the construction work we need to stop the work but in precast method since all the elements are casted in the manufacturing unit it can be done in all weather conditions it require less labor and less wastage off site working parallel working standardization of design engineering and execution so this is not on site working we do the work in off site and then parallelly we can work will be having the standard design and finally we need to execute the work so these are all the major advantages of precast technology though the precast technology has many advantages it has few limitations as well there is a difficulty in transporting concrete products from the factory to the job site since the precast elements are heavy it is difficult to transport the heavy objects from the factory to the job site sometimes installation may be difficult with the heavy piece of precast products since this concrete elements are heavy installation may require skilled laborers and then it is difficult to install without a proper machinery modification in the design is also difficult because all the precast elements are pre designed we cannot do any modifications once it is casted in the manufacturing unit so modifications cannot be done in the precast concrete technology so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome also share it with your friends if you like this video don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching